So I got a really great question um, at one of my videos. So it was regarding question number seven. And so there was a part in question number seven that I combined like terms, which was I combined negative 8x plus 6x, and I ended up getting negative 2x as the answer. And so I got the question, okay, how did you get negative 2 as your answer? Why did you choose to have the answer have a negative instead of a positive? So I just want to break that down a little bit more, just in case you're confused when you hear combine like terms. Another way to say combine like terms is simply saying add those two terms together. So combine just means add. And then what are like terms? Like terms are just terms that have the same ending. For example, negative 8x and 6x, they both have x attached to them. And they're both to the same degree, which is an invisible one, so you can combine them. Another example of like terms would be like 7y and 1y, or 2x squared and 4x squared. So they have the same variable next to them, and those variables have the same exponents. They have the same variables next to them, and they have the same exponents. As long as those things are the same, then you can combine them. They're alike. It's pretty much saying... Um, count cookies plus cookies or count oranges plus oranges because they're alike you can count them together and so we're gonna go ahead and see how did i get negative 2x as my answer and so all i'm doing is because i have identified these as like terms negative 8x plus 6x i know my answer is going to have x in them because they're alike cookies plus cookies equals cookies <laughs> so x plus x is going to be some form of x then I just have to add the numbers that are in front of them. So the numbers or the coefficients that are in front of them are negative eight and positive six, okay? So negative eight plus six. Some people can easily say, okay, negative eight plus six is negative two, so the answer would be negative two x. If you're able to say that, then thank you for listening to my video. I hope you have a good day and you find another video that's appropriate for you. But if you're looking at me like, Miss Amber, I'm not really sure how you got negative 8 plus 6, then just stick around a little bit longer because this explanation is for you. So anytime I'm adding a positive and negative number, and this is the, this is the easiest way to do it. If I'm adding a positive and negative number, I'm going to look at the numbers 8 and 6, and I'm going to say, what number is bigger, 8 or 6? Okay, the number 8 is bigger. So my answer is going to have whatever sign is attached to the bigger number. So because 8 is a larger number and 8 is a negative, my answer is going to be negative. Again, the answer is going to have whatever sign the larger number has. So because 8 is the larger number and 8 is a negative number, my answer is going to be negative. Then I just find the difference between the two numbers. 8 minus 6 equals 2. So my answer is going to be negative 2. And remember, there is an x involved, so it's going to be negative 2x. I'm going to give you another example. So say I have negative 10x plus 4x. These are like terms because they both have x next to them to the same power, the invisible one. And so I know my answer is also going to have x in them. And then I'm going to combine terms, or I'm just going to add negative 10 plus 4. Again, if that's easy for me, negative 10 plus 4, then I can easily know that it's equal to negative 6, and my answer will be negative 6x. If that's not easy for me, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the trick that I just taught you. So I'm going to look at both numbers, 10 and 4, and I'm going to ask, ask myself, which number is greater, 10 or 4? 10 is the greater number, 10 is the negative number, so my answer is also going to be negative. Then I'm going to go ahead and find the difference between these two numbers. 10 minus 4 is 6, so my answer is going to be negative 6, but we're not going to forget about the x, negative 6x. So on your piece of paper, I want you to go ahead and solve this problem for me. Now let me add another blank page. So this is going to be your problem that I'm going to allow a pause before I tell you the answer. So we're going to do negative 12y plus 6y. Go ahead and solve it for me. I'm going to give 10 seconds.
Okay, I hope that was 10 seconds. Miss Amber's a little bit impatient, but thanks for everyone who's waiting. So negative 12y plus 6y, you should have gotten negative 6y as your answer. How did you get negative 6y? First, you looked at these two terms and said, okay, they both have y next to them, so my answer is also going to have y. And then you're going to take negative 12 plus 6. So you're going to say negative 12 plus 6. If you can do that in your head, then you're just going to say negative 6y. If you can't do that in your head, then you're going to go ahead and do what Miss Amber taught you, which is you're going to look at both of those numbers, 12 and 6. You're going to say what number is bigger than bigger number is 12. Because the bigger number is attached to a negative sign, my answer is also going to be negative. And then I'm going to go ahead and just subtract the two terms. 12 minus 6 is 6. So my answer is going to be negative 6. And remember, don't forget the y. And so that's how you combine like terms when they have one is positive and one is negative. Look to see, okay, what is the variable going to be? That's super simple because they're like terms. They're going to have the same variable in them. They're just going to have the same x or y or whatever it is. And then go ahead and look at the coefficients, the number before them, and go ahead and combine them or add them together. If adding positive and negative numbers is easy for you, then just go ahead and add them and then attach the variable. If adding positive and negative numbers are difficult for you, then go ahead and do the skill that I just taught you.